Hey, Matt from Baylinx here. Today I'm going to talk to you about PTO and pump maintenance um, and how it relates to our machines. Pumps and PTOs are something a lot of people don't think about. Um, it doesn't come to mind to maintain them or grease them. Um, oftentimes guys will go months and months without ever greasing them, but it's something that's highly recommended by each manufacturer. Um, they all have their own time frames and you should make sure that you separate them from time to time to grease your input and output shafts. This is an example of what an output shaft can look like on a PTO. On a Baylinx unit, you're going to see a lot of this spline shaft style as well as a keyed shaft from time to time. This is what a spline shaft looks like on a pump. Um, as you can see, this will fit into the output shaft on a PTO. So these shafts on these two are obviously failed at some point um, due to a lack of grease on the splines. This one's very dry. This one doesn't have a lot of damage on it, but it did do some major damage to the PTO output shaft. So these mating surfaces on the spline shafts where there is no grease can cause a lot of damage if they're not greased periodically as per the manufacturer. Your manufacturer's owner's manual of both your pump and PTO will have information on the type of lubricant you should be using and how often it should be checked. Making sure that you grease your PTO and pump input and output shafts regularly will ensure that you have as little downtime as possible. Thanks for watching this tech tip video and please reach out to Baylinks for any questions.